SKA has reached a significant point in its journey, a journey that has already seen some incredible milestones. The SKA story begins in the late 1980s, when astronomers began discussing how to achieve something that was seemingly out of reach. And when they gathered in New Mexico to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the VLA, the state-of-the-art radio telescope at the time, the seed of a common vision for an even larger telescope was planted. This ambitious project was born global from the start, and over the next 30 years scientists from all over the world met to discuss the latest discoveries, and hard choices were made about what they most wanted this ambitious telescope to do. They published their thinking in ever more detailed science cases for what became known as a Square Kilometre Array, the SKA. The original concept was the goal of observing hydrogen throughout the entire history of the universe. But of course, once you have a Square Kilometre Array and all of the associated electronics behind it, you can do many, many, many more things. The ability to observe every pulsar that lies within the Milky Way, our home galaxy. The detection of heavy biomolecules that form the basis of amino acids. That gives us some clues that maybe life itself is more widely spread. If any instrument is going to detect the signal of intelligent extraterrestrials, it will be the SKA. Although science is central to projects like the SKA, engineering and technology are its backbone. The ambition of the SKA was such that it was clear from the start that creativity and research and development would be needed to make this telescope a reality. The scientists and engineers discussed promising development, made decisions that would define the course of the project, and published a concept of how they were proposing to build the telescope that would do what astronomers wanted. A project like SKA builds on the engineering advances that our predecessors have made. Our teams are taking them and developing them to the next level. Seeing the kits, seeing the prototypes, that is so exciting. For our engineering staff finally to get their hands on real working hardware, that's just absolutely fantastic. And we need those prototypes for refining the designs. And then we'll go to industry with a final design and say, Build me these, please. But to deliver something of the scale of the SKA, good science and engineering aren't enough. We also needed strong governance to drive progress and coordinate activities around the globe. Informal working groups were established as a first step, but coordinating bodies then had to be created. Offices had to be staffed and potential sites had to be identified. Over the years, the SKA slowly cemented its place in policy circles and research roadmaps, earning valuable support along the way. A huge milestone for SKA was the signing of the treaty that will establish the SKA Observatory as an intergovernmental organization. It's an agreement, it's a contract between governments to establish something, to fund it, it took many years to negotiate the text of the treaty, of the convention as it's called. It's a key step in tying governments together, giving the long-term stability that a big project like the SKA needs. In the last decade, things really picked up. The SKA organisation was established and it had three objectives. To complete the site selection for the SKA, to develop detailed engineering plans for the telescopes, and to establish a solid governance structure for the 50-year lifetime of the project. We completed the first early on with a dual site decision. Then, a final push started on the engineering front. Negotiations began to create an intergovernmental organisation. We built prototypes. The SKA Treaty was signed. We moved into our permanent home. We completed our second objective by signing off on the engineering plans for the telescopes. And finally, completed the third by seeing the birth of the SKA Observatory, which brings us to where we are now. The next phase of our mission is now starting, building on the achievements of our past. And what is our mission? It's to answer fundamental questions 
about our universe.